YouTube. Hey, y'all get to see me twice in one day, man. It been, I don't know if I ever posted two videos in one day, but um, I came back to y'all, man, so that I can talk to y'all about these Durali fans. Um, I actually, after we, after I got mine installed, um, I was talking to my homeboy on IG because he was saying he needs something for his G-Body. And uh, it was brought to my attention that there's actually another fan setup that fits uh, G-Bodies a little bit better than the setup that I have. So it's the, uh, don't let me get this wrong, I think it's 16826, that's the part number. The part number that I have is 16927. Uh, so this other part number is 16826. And the difference is, um, so the fans that I have are 13 inch fans. Um, my bad, like, I, I guess I didn't do enough research or whatever. But anyway, I thought I had 12 inch fans. So I have 13 inch fans. Uh, the part number 16826 is um, 12 inch fans. So the only difference in that shroud and the shroud that I have is there's an inch difference in the height of the shroud, um, which I showed y'all I had that gap when I was when I had to lift the radiator up or whatever. Uh, so I'm pretty sure that one inch gap, that one inch difference will make a difference when you installing these fans. Uh, like I said, I just want to let y'all know, I don't know how many people was watching the videos or following and was deciding to get the same fans that I got, but I just wanted to put that out there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got the knowledge, so I'm going to spread the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so like I said, this other fan set up, part number 16826, the fan shroud is one inch, one inch and one eighth. Um shorter as far as the height goes uh the width is still the same so if you get those fans and you got a three or four core radiator you're still gonna have fitment issues with the steering gearbox but i just wanted to put that out there that the height issue that i had um where i had to lift my radiator up it's a one and one eighth inch difference in the height because i got 13 inch fans the other fans are 12 inch I don't want to keep repeating myself, but I'm hopefully you all understand what I'm saying, or you can rewind and rewatch this. Um, I'm gonna put the link in the description of both sets of fans, um, and I'll kind of tell you like, hey, these are the fans that I have, and these fans are, you know, like an inch shorter than the fans that I have. Um, either way, like I said, the ones that I got, they fit. I just had to raise my radiator up to get it to fit a little bit better. But um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of recap and show y'all what I did with my fans. Um, if you're here for the first time or if you've been here for a while and you haven't subscribed, man, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. It don't cost you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Support me, man. Um, it, didn't, it don't cost me nothing to, to spread the knowledge that I have either. You know what I'm saying? But... I'm going to just do it. I'm transparent like that. So, you know what I'm saying? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, I appreciate all the subscribers. I appreciate all the comments, everything, man. Hey, we all in this together. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us been in this game a little bit longer than some. Uh, and you learn. Like, you live and you learn. So, once you learn something, man, spread, spread that love. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like to keep secrets and stuff like, but it's out there. Like one day you're going to find it. it might take you a lot longer to find it. Or you may spend a little bit more money or time or whatever. But hey, man, I ain't I ain't tripping, man. I didn't spend the money. I didn't went through the struggles to do what I did. And I don't mind sharing the information that I got with anybody else. So, you know, everybody ain't like me. I get it. Be you. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, thank you everybody for the support. Continue to support me. Continue to support the channel. It don't cost you nothing. Just click it, man. Click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell to so be notified when I'm dropping these videos. I'm always going to be dropping. But uh, let's get back into this uh, this fan thing. And I'm going to show y'all what I'm talking about if you just now catching up. 
Uh, and if you this is the first video you don't watch about the fans, go back to the previous two videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. 87 Mets says, boy. So here we are. Uh, 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 what's that? Anyway, so here we are. You know what I'm saying? The fans and the radiator are installed. Uh, I still don't. I mean, it's, it's like the next day after I finish installing this. So I still got the zip ties on here. We're going to get that together, man. You know, slowly but surely. Um, but when I install these fans, the issue that I had, like the fans were sitting up. Like they were sitting up pretty high above the radiator. So what I did was I put some uh, support under the radiator to sit it up higher to try to fill this gap. This gap was 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 bigger than this. Um, but I was trying to get this gap as closed up as I can. Um, so that issue, like I said, I ran into that um, when I was installing it. But now that I realize I have 13 inch fans, so my fans are 13 inches. The other fans on the 16826 are 12 inches. Um, which, I mean, common sense that'll tell you that this shroud is taller than the other shroud. So the width is the same, the depth is the same, it's just the height of the of the fans. So when I tell you, like, if you put those other fans on there, this is still going to be two and three quarters. And then from here to the end of the fan, it's still going to be four inches. So you're still going to have to do that modification to the steering gearbox if you got a Champion 3 or 4 core radiator. The Chinese uh, radiators, 3 core, or the eBay, or whatever you want to call them, they are thinner than these um, if it's a 3 or a 4 core. They are thinner than the Champion. So you won't have any issues. Like I said, my homeboy, uh, Sally, 85 G-Spot, he installed these same exact fans and an eBay radiator, three core radiator. He did not have to notch his um, his shroud to get it around the steering gearbox. It's close, but he was able to get it in there. So, hey, just knowledge, man. Uh, if you got a factory radiator, you should be able to get this in there with no problem. And like I said, I'll, I'll re revisit this again. This shroud here is one inch taller than the 16826 shroud. And like I said, <clears throat> if you don't like doing modifications and all that, then you might wanna go with the 16826 because it's one inch shorter than this. But everything else is the same. The only thing is the height is shorter by one, in, by one and one eighth inch. The width is the same. The width here is the same. So that means you're still going to be in the same spot with that uh, steering gearbox. Um, like I said, hope, hopefully everybody understand. But I just wanted to put that out there because I didn't want anything to be misleading. Um, but it's something that I just found out today. Shout out to my boy, um, my boy G and a G body off Instagram. Uh, he actually brought that to my attention today uh, when I posted my car with the fans on it uh on instagram uh so like i said if you got a g body you know what i'm saying we done kind of went through this whole thing man like if you got a champion three or four core radiator with these derail fans you're gonna have fitment issues if you got an ebay radiator that's three core or four core it may work without modifications um if you got a factory radiator, it should work just fine. But if you want, if you want to get rid of this gap and not have to lift this radiator up, then go with the other part number. Um, that's all I got, man. Um, Y'all stay tuned. It's always more to come, man. We got more stuff going on. Um, I don't know exactly what's next. It just depends on what I feel like. Um, I know I keep talking about I got some suspension stuff coming. Uh, I still got my transmission over there that I need to do. Uh, so it's, you know, we, we, we slow motion.
Still got the five three over there that we need to need to finish up. Um, pretty much the work then stopped on it, but we're gonna get back to it. Um, so the five three, uh, we're gonna start working on the C ten again. Um, you know, just slow motion, man. We're gonna get everything done uh, when we can. You know what I'm saying? We all family people, so we got jobs, we got kids. You know what I'm saying, and they come first. So this car stuff come this this come after the family. You know what I'm saying, but we are gonna make time for everything. Make sure everybody happy and taken care of. Even y'all, I'm gonna make sure y'all taken care of too. That's why I'm doing this. I took time out of my day to come back to y'all the same day with another video to tell y'all about another part because I didn't have to do it. You know what I'm saying, but that's just the kind of person I am. Um, if you gotta, actually, I'm gonna add my homeboy's video to this. Uh, he sent me a little snippet of when he did his uh, his fans, and he that was the radiator that I showed y'all. That was an eBay radiator three core that was um, probably about shoot, probably like a half inch or three quarters of an inch uh, thinner than this one. Uh, he sent me a little video of it. Hopefully, it ain't got too much copyright in it. If it do, then I'll just cut it out and I'll put as much of, the, of his wording in there as I can. But, um, yeah, man, free game. You know what I'm saying? Free game. All I want you to do is hit, is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, man. That's all. There's also a super things button. You know what I'm saying? If you if you feeling friendly, if you feeling generous, go ahead and hit that button too, man. And I got clearance right here, look. Ah. Look. I'm not touching. I mean, you can see. Not touching. But yeah. These motherfuckers pulled, dog. They definitely worth the $282. It's definitely an upgrade. No bullshit. But yeah. Actually, it don't look bad. Hold on. Ugh. It don't look bad. Charging that battery up. But yeah. You can't tell. There's a gap at the top. So I might just leave it for real. See my zip tie right here. And the other one over there. Can't really tell, man. So I might just leave it. You can add this clip to your YouTube. Show them G Spot got it. Look good right here. Yeah, and also uh, a update on this uh, setup. I've been driving my car. Uh, well, I drove it around a pretty good bit today. Um, the fans are crazy. I know a lot of people want to know. So I, I guess this is kind of a review on them. Um, a lot of people say stuff on the Internet or they say stuff to you about certain things and they be lying bro and then again man y'all see how dirty this car is but anyway uh so but yeah so like i said man people they be lying their reviews don't be genuine or whatever i'm gonna tell you the truth and i'm gonna tell you i'm gonna be genuine with you i'm gonna be transparent like i always say so first of all the fans right um you know, took a little work to get them in there. Um, first of all, they the best electric fans on the market that I know of. If you know something different, let me know. But uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and say that that they the best fans on the best electric fans on the market. Two thousand CFM a piece. Um, second thing is um, the noise level of the fans. So. I've heard people say, oh, these fans are 
too loud. They too loud. Um, so these fans, um, compared to the other fans that I had, they are no louder than the other fans I had. Couldn't tell a difference. So, you know, that's my honest opinion. All right. Next thing, they say they pull a whole lot of power. Um, I do believe they pull a lot of power because I showed y'all on the last video that um, my other fans, they was running on one 40 amp fuse that was that's connected in line from the relays. So I had one fuse going to both fans. That fuse only popped on me one time uh, since I've had this car and been driving around, right? Soon as I put these fans in, it popped the fuse, okay? So I do believe that they are very powerful. Um, next thing, everybody say that you have to put an inline, not everybody, a lot of people say you have to put an inline fuse or circuit breaker on these fans for them to work properly. I don't believe that. Because most of the people that I know that are running these fans, they're only running them to a relay with no fuse, no circuit breaker. I'm not running a fuse nor a circuit breaker. As you can see, this is my power wire going to my distribution box, going to my relays, which are behind here. Um, so fan noise. Um power fuses circuit breakers uh we've covered that um okay yeah so when i'm driving which i told y'all already i don't have an upgraded alternator i don't understand why march sells a uh, this 105 amp alternator i don't know whatever i had it when i bought the engine so this is a 105 amp alternator before I put the fans on here, I was running at 14 amps while I'm riding. When the first fan come on, I'm running at 14 amps. When the second fan kick on, I'm running at 14 amps. So I'm not getting any power issues, uh, surges or anything like that. I've only drove the car. You know, I hadn't drove the car, but one, one day, that was today, for about 30 minutes or so. Um, so I can't, you know, I can't say too much right now, but I can tell you what I saw in my experience from, from today. Um, what else? What else? What else? Anything else I'm missing? I know y'all going to let me know in the comments or if you do need to know, just ask me. Um, oh yeah. So last thing I can tell a significant difference in how fast my car cools down. Because like I said, these fans are 2,000 CFM a piece. My last fans was 1,226 a piece. So if you think about it, one of these fans is pushing out almost the same amount as both of my other fans. So when this fan one kick on, I got fan one to kick on, I think at 170. Then I got fan two kicking on at 185. I mean, as soon as fan two kick on, if it hit 185, it might run for two minutes and then it's back off again because it done cooled it off just that fast. Um, I don't feel like this gap here is going to, it makes too much of a difference. Um, when I put my radiator cover back up there, it may help a little bit, but I don't think that gap makes too much of a difference. Um, I don't know. But all I know is I got my fan set at 170 and 185, and my car didn't get over 186. Like soon as soon as that 185 kick in and that fan and that fan two kick on, it's like instant. Next thing you know, fan off. You know what I'm saying? So hey, they they they, they doing their thing, man. They doing their thing. So I ain't going to keep y'all too much longer, man. I just kind of wanted to, like I said, touch bases with everybody, let everybody know what I know. And I want to do a quick review on these and uh, so that 
everybody will know what's up. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of money to spend. So definitely wouldn't mind having a review on something that you're spending a lot of money on. These fans here owe price too. So these fans here, they worth three, 325 and then they jumped up to 409 Uh I messed around and went to Amazon, caught them on sale for 282 or 287 or something. So I jumped on them, right? Uh, they're back up now on Amazon to 325, but they're 409 everywhere else. Um, the other one that's an inch shorter, like I said, the 16826, if I remember correctly, uh, is shorter than this one. Their price is 439 on Summit, Jakes, and all that. I'm not sure what the price is on Amazon for that particular setup. But uh, yeah, I just got a storm surge alert on my own. So uh, that's why my phone cut out on me. But like I said, I'm not sure what the price is on Amazon on the other fans in Shroud. But these are $325 on Amazon and everywhere else they $409. So like I said, the, like if you're spending money, if you're anything like me, man, I'm, I'm frugal. I don't like to spend money. I don't like to spend a lot of money. So if somebody can give me a review on something before I buy it, I definitely appreciate it. So hopefully everybody appreciate this video. And uh, I'm going to get out of here, man. Catch y'all on the next one. 87 says, boy, we out of here.